with Cameron Harper and Heidi Fogelson, Mike Chamberlain, Jim Howe, and Royal Norman. Arizona's News Channel, News Channel 3. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Tammy Faye Baker comes out singing after her television evangelist husband Jim is found guilty on all counts. Good evening, everyone. Cameron has the night off. I'm Tom McNamara. The Bakers' prayers have not been answered, at least not yet. This morning, a jury in Charlotte, North Carolina, convicted Jim Baker of living a life of luxury at the expense of many of his followers. Yet Baker says his faith has not been shaken. Ross Cabot was at the courthouse in Charlotte, North Carolina, when the verdicts were read. Ross? Heidi, a very dramatic day here at the federal courthouse in Charlotte, North Carolina. Really the culmination of what's become a national soap opera. The story of the country's most powerful televangelist caught up in a sex scandal charged with defrauding the viewers of his PTL network. It all ended with a shocking conclusion earlier this evening. Just before noon, the word came down and spread like wildfire. Jim Baker guilty on all 24 counts of fraud and conspiracy. Tension that had been building since Baker resigned as PTL president in March of 1987 had suddenly exploded. In the courtroom, Baker remained emotionless while wife Tammy Faye quietly cried. Outside, sobbing relatives and supporters waded through a tremendous media crunch. The jury apparently agreed early on Baker was guilty, foreman Rick Hill telling me it was just a matter of technicalities. I had in my mind that uh, he was probably guilty when I went in there. Uh, it probably took a while to help me with this feeling. Tammy Faye bounced back quickly and offered an optimistic song for reporters. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. It's not over till it's over. Tammy and Baker's attorney said they were already working on an appeal. Baker supporters took strength from Tammy and promised their continued support. To me, it's a very sad day. Um, we stayed with Jim. We uplifted him in prayer. We, as a congregation, of course, continue to support him. I think this really genuinely came as a big shock to him. Well, it must have, because he knows he's not guilty. So it came to a big shock to all of us, because we know he's not guilty. Some three hours after the verdict, Baker's attorneys returned to the courthouse to come up with the bail money to get Jim Baker out so he can continue his ministry until sentencing on October 24. I went into the courtroom innocent of the charges against me, and I come out today still innocent of the charges against me. My faith is in God, and Romans 8:28 says that all things work together for good. Those were the only comments Baker had to reporters when he was released just a short time ago on $250,000 bond. He promises to continue his ministry in Orlando, Florida, at least until October 24th, when he faces a sentence of 120 years in jail and a fine of $5 million. Heidi, back to you. Ross, many people are asking why Tammy Faye wasn't charged. Can you shed some light on that? Well, she simply did not have the title with the PTL network, although she was an integral part of the Jim and Tammy show, certainly, and of all the fundraising and the charges that did go on. Because she didn't have that title with PTL, that's why she wasn't charged. All right, Ross Cavett in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you. The woman whose sexual encounter with Jim Baker triggered his downfall said today this proves that it is possible to beat the big guys. Jessica Hahn, wearing her trademark sunglasses, says she was vacuuming when she heard the news. I saw Tammy singing a song, and I thought, she can sing all she wants, but today is proof that there is amazing grace. Han says the guilty verdict should prove to Jim Baker that he's not God, but just Jim. With this chapter of the Jim and Tammy Faye story closed, what now lies ahead for other television preachers? Well, we looked into that today, and Jada Dapper's in the control room of a Phoenix religious station with a few of the answers. Jay. Well, Tom, I'm in the control room of the North Phoenix Baptist Church. It's a high-tech setup for an old-fashioned Sunday morning show. Church and choir and pastor with a Sunday morning sermon. From the heart of Phoenix, Arizona, welcome to worship with the North Phoenix Baptist Church. Pastor Richard Jackson's Sunday morning show is on the air, live from Phoenix. 
We do welcome all of you who worship with us by means of television. Our church gives television away. We've never solicited funds from television. We don't depend upon television revenues to support uh, the home base. We simply give it away as a missions enterprise. So we're in totally different uh, ballparks. Jackson's church runs low power channel 39 here in Phoenix. Religious broadcasting paid for by church members, not call in viewers. But he doesn't think it's the type of show that makes the difference. I don't think anybody that's involved, Mr. Baker or anyone else, started out to fleece the public. But it's, a, it's an awfully dangerous line to walk when there's no accountability, no one to be responsible to. The other local religious TV station is KPAZ, Channel 21. Owned by Tustin, California-based Trinity Broadcasting, the station airs shows featuring new style, money-raising evangelicals, more conversation, and less pitching. It says it all through Job. Satan did it. Satan did it. Well, Satan's the destroyer. But the memory of what Jim and Tammy Faye did will be difficult to erase. I think integrity is the word. Those who have integrity will survive and prosper. Need exactly almost to the dollar these last memberships and the Heritage Grand Partner Center will be completely paid for. So the question really tonight is, Tom, what kind of lasting impact is all this going to have? And the lasting impact probably will be people will be a little bit more careful with where they invest their money that they're giving to various churches. Certainly an eye-opening episode, Jay. Thank you. In other news tonight, two of the